Hello guys, once again Nelson Almeida here and I want to talk with you about uh, a small situation that I had yesterday, you know, it's complicated, <laughs> it's complicated when you work alone, sometimes there is some situations that you don't, that you don't really expect to happen, but it did happen, so yesterday during my address addressing uh, the elephant in the room vlog I've done I had some issues in sound uh, issues that I was not expecting to happen but it did happen and uh, I couldn't predict it and uh, another problem that I had yesterday was in the second documentary there was also some problems in the sound uh, so the, the documentary was with without sound so uh, this video is to show that documentary and uh, for now I would like to for those who, who saw the the vlog I would like to, to apologize for the situation if you if you if anyway you would you want to see the the vlog guys just see it because it was a great vlog I've addressed uh, a lot of great situations so I've addressed uh, the migrant situation but I also addressed the, cor the coronavirus most of the time uh, the sounds uh, I used yesterday a lapel microphone it was my first time and during the sound checks the microphone didn't show any problem any situation but unfortunately after that uh, i realized only after the show that um, i had some problems with the sound so those are things that happened that happened i'm i'm not pleased with that but i must admit it it does happen sometimes so Sorry. So today, uh, this is uh, to correct that situation. Don't you forget that today I have a talk show at eleven thirty p.m. Uh, with uh, Ricard Carnisa. Uh, we are talking about uh, movies, and uh, we are talking uh, about the series. So guys, don't forget to check on uh, NEC Facebook and also to check um, on uh, YouTube because we'll be on the social media. Also, we'll be here on Periscope in the first half of the podcast of the talk show. Sorry, uh, and we'll, we will be here uh, as well. Uh, uh, in our print in all of the social media and second part of the talk show will be only on YouTube and later will be exclusively for Patreon so guys uh, it is what it is uh, <laughs> I would like to tell you something else but I don't think that I have much more to say once again uh, I hope you can uh, okay you can uh, deal with the situation of the sound I'm really really sorry for that uh, of that sound that background sound really annoying I'm I was not expecting to have problem with microphone once again you know when you work alone sometimes you try your best but not always you're able to do it the best way possible but don't you worry but that with time that situation will be addressed as it should so now I'm going to show you um, to finish I'm going to show you the second documentary about migrants the source was RTP was the state channel uh, it was yesterday the that situation the rest you can see it on my vlog about uh, my comments and what I think about it so I'm going to show you or show you that and I hope to see you later at 11 30 p.m on the talk show between me and one of the voices and guitars from dalian ricard carnis so guys i'll see you soon 
let me just so I'll just screencast my so I can show you um, the the video I was talking so I need to search here so yes you're going to see good part of my phone and uh, yes I was with something here that from uh, a conversation I had before and now some cars are passing by but I believe that uh, I can uh, put this to go on let me just put it right in the right way and uh, I'll just put on pause another car I'm doing this in the street so yeah it's getting a little bit rough with so many cars guys I'm just going to end the I'm going to close the camera and show you this documentary so I'll see you tonight okay 11 30 p.m. Portuguese time okay see you soon Polícias turcos mandam-nos parar. Levam o nosso passaporte, cartão de jornalistas e fotografam-nos. Depois vêm ao carro fotografar-nos a nós. Primeiro eu. Porta que passa? É a portuguesa. A seguir o repórter de imagem, David Araújo, que filma as escondidas. Thank you. Passa a colher. Não podem ir para a fronteira de passar colher. Tem de ficar na cidade de Adirne, avisou a agente turca. A ordem da polícia turca é de não irmos para a fronteira, mas desobedecemos e procuramos caminhos alternativos. Vemos os primeiros migrantes a seguir pela linha férrea e o nosso motorista pergunta-lhes de onde vêm. Vem, Morocco! Morocco! Súria! Primeiro dizem que são de Marrocos, depois que são da Síria. Entramos por um trilho secundário e a polícia não se apercebe. Lá ao fundo é a Grécia. Aqui não vemos migrantes. Mas um responsável turco fala comigo ao telefone e avisa que estamos em zona proibida. Se a polícia nos vê, seremos presos. Não é difícil de acreditar, pois a Turquia é o país do mundo onde há mais jornalistas atrás das grades. Chegamos a Carades a última aldeia antes da fronteira. O centro está cheio de migrantes que vieram da fronteira buscar mantimentos e tomar café. Numa mesa encontramos um grupo de marroquinos. Tenho dificuldades em Casa Blanca, não tenho dinheiro e preciso de o ganhar para dar à minha família. Encontro também Mohamed, um tunisino de Cartago, que diz que é mais fácil entrar na Europa pela Grécia do que pela Espanha, mesmo que tenha apanhado uma bala de borracha grega. Há dois meses a polícia turca deteve-me e levou-me para Istambul por não ter documentos. Um dia, os polícias meteram-me numa caminheta e trouxeram-me para aqui com umas 700 pessoas da Tunísia, da Argélia, do Egito, de Marrocos. Encontramos três signos noutra mesa, incluindo Obeida, um antigo futebolista de Homs, que se mantém em contato com a mãe na Síria. É, José, José, my friend, José. Salam, salam. Salam aleikum. José, you speak, uh, you speak Arabic, but little. No, I'm not, I'm not laugh from Arabic. I'm not laugh from Arabic, but little, little. You speak English. Inshallah. I am living in Turkey. Turkey job, uh, yes. Vivo agora na Turquia. Tenho um emprego aqui, mas não sou feliz. Ganha-se pouco dinheiro cá. E Manila e O Beida e os seus amigos pegam nos sacos das compras e regressam a pé para a linha de fronteira com a Grécia. Os três obedecem os critérios de refugiados ou os vêm de um país em guerra. E dizem que o que querem mesmo é ir para a Europa. Tentamos acompanhá-los, mas a polícia turca impede-nos. A partir do último checkpoint, os jornalistas não podem passar. As autoridades turcas vedaram aos jornalistas o acesso à fronteira com a Grécia, se e quando isso se alterar, só se for do interesse da Turquia. O Jefferson de Vida Rujo, RTP em Carades, junto à fronteira greco-turca.